Hey guys, welcome back to another featured Friday here at Let's Go Geo. So today's specimen is this guy, a very beautiful rock fragment indeed. Uh, and let's just take a look at it here like we usually do. Um, you can see just visually, it's a really pretty specimen. Um, it caught my eye because of that. It's got this cool band across it and this bluish color. And then it's outlined in a shiny silver on both sides. So pretty cool. You can see it the whole way across. So it's up to you guys to decide what you think it is. But first, let's take a closer look at some of the details. Let me see if I can just a little closer look. So what we see there in the middle is this band of bluish greenish mineral or several minerals perhaps right and we can figure out we it's obvious that there's a couple different interplays of minerals going on here and what I want to focus on actually is that silver band the middle there the middle there that bluish part that's that kind that resembles chrysocolla right and if we look a little closer there, you can see the whole band. Now, if you know anything about it, it's a mineral that can be associated with copper deposits and some of the other minerals um, that we find around copper deposits and copper mining. And we even have some copper colored material in that blue. So cool. But like I said, let's focus actually on that silvery band. So that's your that's your challenge today. What do you think that silvery band is, guys? I'll give you a second to look at it and make some guesses. Now again, like I always say, if you are actually trying to identify a mineral officially, this is not going to be the only technique you'll, you'll you use. You wouldn't just use visual. Um, because that can be misleading and you can be wrong just by looking at it. Some of them are tricky. And actually this one's a good example of that. Uh, there are some mineral, there are several minerals that might have this look. And even on the camera, I'm not sure that it might even be harder. Um, just so you know, that is more of a silvery tone. I don't know with the lighting, you know, it might come up a little darker. Um, it's a, it's what I would say is a dark gray metallic silvery tone to, uh, if you can see that when I, move it around. So we would do some tests on this. Uh, it, it can be difficult because you don't want to harm the actual mineral, but we would do tests on it to try to figure out what it is. And obviously the best case is to have some educated guesses first off. That helps us uh, go in the right direction. So if you've ever seen minerals like this, you might be thinking, well, lead is one. Um, something like magnetite, could have kind of a look like this and hematite um, so you might be thinking on that that side of things and um, hematite is an iron related uh, ore and uh, but you know if we were talking lead something like galena that is a source of lead and it also has a pretty similar look to it so what you have to do are a couple tests um, in the case of if you were if you were debating between those uh, a streak test is helpful because hematite comes out red. And I can tell you that that band that's lining that is, drum roll, make sure you get your guesses, put your guesses in the comments, and don't cheat. If it's wrong, that's okay. All right, you ready? That is a, a band of hematite. And this particular specimen was collected in an area where chunks bigger than this of, of that material, of that hematite material, is available. Um, very cool specimen. Really like it. Um, I will continue to do featured Friday uh, specimens so we can learn and just check out some cool things from my collection. So this is your feature for today. Stay tuned for the next one here at Let's Go Geo. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.